Well, this giant mess here is kind of a rigged up tube tester. Well, the deal is I bought this amplifier off Craigslist. And it doesn't work right. Uh, I got it for 15 bucks. And it's, I mean, the, the case and everything's in good shape, but it needs uh, capacitors replaced. Uh, one of the tubes was cracked around the bottom, so that has to be replaced. Unfortunately, it's an expensive output tube. It's a push pull amplifier, so it has two tubes. It has the uh, 7868 type output tubes, which are expensive. They're like $35 a piece. Even on eBay, they're going pretty expensive. This one tube that looks good, I wanted to test it and see, you know, if it's if it's a good tube or not. I don't know if I want to put 70 bucks into an amplifier plus all the other work that it needs. So I'm going to test this tube out. So I alligator clipped up a little circuit here. Good thing is I can. If you can see, the uh, the filament is already on, so that's good. So this here is just the six volts for the filament, the heater. I don't have a high voltage transformer. The, the amplifier is down for service. So what I did is took this 12 volt, uh, large 12 volt supply here has the AC output. I ran it into the secondaries of these 12 volt transformers and the primary side which is now the secondary side 120 volt each in series so uh, that gives you a high voltage of 360 volts and after you uh, rectify it made a little full way rectifier and filtered it and uh, put a little uh, load on it so I get 400 uh, I think it came out around 450, 460 volts or so. And these tubes, they, they also run at a pretty high voltage. Okay. It's a pentode, so I have to deal with a couple other, well, one other grid, which is a screen grid. And uh, if you're familiar with tubes, you have to put a negative bias relative to the cathode on the control grid otherwise the the tube will run at full blast and overheat so to provide the negative voltage I, I'm using the DC power supply here and it's running at about uh, let me adjust it there we'll just say it's running at 17 volts so uh, I should hook this up correctly. It, just pretend that's a negative sign there and it's negative 17 volts on the control grid. And uh, i got to be very careful around this high voltage. Plus I didn't want to uh, do something. I didn't want to make like a voltage doubler off the 240 volt mains in the house. That's getting kind of dangerous just use this and uh, I'll connect it by uh, connecting to the uh, AC side of the bridge here and this monitors the the uh, bait I'm sorry the uh, plate current so at 17 volts running around 35 or so milliamps and a lot of that you know it depends on the uh, second grid voltage I don't have that bias quite right now as I lessen this voltage on the control grid that's going to allow more current to flow and that goes up Around 15 volts, I should be at 32. A little bit high, but again, I think that's the uh, grid voltage. This tube seems to be pretty good. No problem there. Now, I'll demonstrate another issue 
called red plating. That occurs if uh, something in the circuit is draining off the bias to the control grid. You know, that bias current is really low. And if there's a leaky capacitor or something, it could be draining off that negative bias voltage, causing it to be too low. So as I lower this voltage, now we're at 10 volts, 63. That's actually about where the tube should um, be running. I don't know if my supply will handle running it too heavy here. The voltage might dip too much. But anyway, if the voltage drops too much, this tube is going to start getting really hot. running at 127. I'll just turn off the control grid voltage. Probably don't have enough power here in my little supply to overload this, t this uh, tube. But it is hot, I can tell you that. Okay, I turned out the lights. You can see that plate is glowing. Glowing red hot. And, uh... This camera can't see in the dark. 109, 130. Let's turn the plate control, I'm sorry, the control grid voltage back on. And our plate will cool off. Well, there you go. Looks like this tube is just fine. And uh, it's not going to hurt it just to heat it up a little bit for a few seconds but I wouldn't leave it that way for a long time but uh, yeah this tubes alright that's good but uh, the small signal tubes I'll have to test and hopefully those things are good but that's it for now thanks for watching <laughs> oopsie